Hi there, this is Monkey from Rock Paper Copy and this is free audit of the website fluffylike.com. I'm on a home page. I really love the colors. I love that mm, the, the hero image is easily seen above the fold, so, uh, so it's good for the conversion rate. The button is above the fold and it links to your collections, which is perfect. You show one of your products in the hero image, so that's a really, really nicely optimized area. I would rename product to shop. It gives this kind of call to action tone of voice so people are more likely to act upon it. Click and shop, which will further help your conversion rate. The Instagram has only one post, so consider um, posting regularly or removing this this um, this social media link from your website. Otherwise, it gives an impression that perhaps the website is no longer maintained, is no longer run, and um, it can definitely affect sales if, if people cannot see the um, the activity. They might have an impression maybe you you don't run this website anymore. So so consider yeah so so consider posting regularly or simply remove the link. The featured products look really nice. I will just rename the um, the the title here to something more SEO friendly, such as toddler clothing, baby clothing, newborn clothing, something like that. Something that that um, helps you target your your best keywords, and it will help Google understand which search results to put you in, which will which will help you get more relevant traffic, more likely to convert. Also remember to crop the product images to the same height so they display in line um, so the titles aren't all over the place and also display either three or six items because there's a wide gap here in the corner. Your refund policy still has default Shopify information, so make sure to have unique policy. You need to specify if people can um, can return items that have been used or worn or washed. Um, if you cannot accept this kind of returns, make sure to specify it in the policy, make it clear, make it user-friendly so people know that um, they cannot re return these kind of items. It will help you reduce unhappy customers, it will help you reduce or uh, avoid any negative feedback. So remember to add the unique policy and it will also help you add um, unique content because if you have the same policy as thousands of other Shopify stores, it will count as uh, duplicate content which will affect your SEO. About us page is great, however, I would add more personal info. You can tell who's uh, who's in the team, what inspired you to start this business. People like this kind of like this kind of personal stories here on about us page. It builds rapport, which is really important for the conversion rate. You can also add a photo of yourself and of your team because. Um, this is this this is this is really really great niche to build rapport with potential parents if they see that you're a parent and they can trust your your authority they can trust your judgment when it comes to the product selection so this is this is really great way to to build your authority build trust and also improve sales Shipping policy, you inform about the dispatch and shipping time, make sure to specify whether you ship worldwide mm, and obviously if uh, uh, you mentioned that your the free shipping is mentioned in a top banner but make sure to specify it in the shipping policy as well because people might not see it, they, they click the shipping policy to find to find the the shipping cost and remember to include the information if you ship only within your country or whether you ship to all countries all over the world also remember to add more products with more products you've got more chances of a sale because people will have more selection so although your items are really nicely picked they're beautiful remember to build your selection because people like to have like to have variety like to have many items to choose from
The product titles are very vague, so remember to add more details. You can add details that it's a onesie, I think you can call it a onesie, um, that it's got a fox print, that it's brown and white, so, and obviously specify that it's a onesie and trousers, because fashionable children outfit set is just too vague to put you in more relevant search results, which won't help you get any relevant traffic, so think about making the product titles more SEO friendly. When it comes to SEO, consider adding more content, more written content, such as more content to the pages, more blog posts. Google really loves written content. It helps, it helps to rank your website higher. And also remember to optimize all images with SEO-friendly alt tags. I hope you liked this audit. If you did, please leave a positive review on my Trustpilot profile. The link is in the email. And if you would like to learn how to fix any of the issues mentioned in the audit, how to improve your conversion rate, how to get more traffic and convert more visitors into paying customers, please book a free chat. This 15-minute non-obligation chat with a Shopify expert is available for everyone who booked the audit. So don't miss this opportunity. Ask the Shopify expert any questions you might have about optimization of your online business. Book the chat now. The link is in the email. Thank you so much for your time. If you like this video, remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel for regular SEO and e-commerce tips. It was Maggie from Rock Paper Copy. Bye-bye.